Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is JC. I'm a part-time reseller and I want to share with you some things that I've learned when on vacation, which I'm going to share some footage of that with you. Went to the beach. We actually did a dual trip in a sense because my son was doing a Subak Do tournament and it just happened to be in Myrtle Beach right on the beach. So we're like, okay, well, we'll just take our vacation. So my hubby took off from work and we went and we had a really great time. Took our dog, Oliver, and he had a great time. He loves the beach. He loves to travel. Um, my son did great. He got a uh, third place in two of the tournaments and um, second place in another tournament. Just a really great experience for him. Meeting people all over and I actually went thrifting. And this is what I want to share with you guys because I feel like I've learned so much. I am a new reseller, thrifted all my life, but I am a year in now to reselling and I've always thrifted based on style, which is great. I think that's, I'm still doing that actually. <laughs> I, I thrift based on style first, then fabric, making sure it's a great fabric, and then brand. But so kind of bringing that around is I want to share a small haul with you. This whole rack behind me, I will be sharing with you, but I'm going to do the haul that I did in Myrtle Beach. And we had, we did have a lot of fun. We went to um, Zardin, which was a all natural, uh, eatery place and it was very expensive <laughs> but it was really great really cool aesthetics and what was really neat is that I got out in this area off of Myrtle Beach and there was J. Jill there was Chico's there was Anthropology there was all these you know stores I think there was another one um that I was like oh my gosh and that but that's what made me think wait I I think I'm gonna need to go to the Goodwill around here well pleasantly surprised because everything all the the shirts dresses I'm trying to think everything was like 489 which is crazy compared to me in here in Virginia we go to Goodwill it's jeans are 15 9 regularly and 15 up for those that they think are going to be you know um bolos or whatever so um and then the the jacket though the jackets were 599 I mean, it's really great. So I'm excited to show that. But what was really great is I was getting ready to leave. Actually, we were leaving and I'm like, I'm just going to leave my eBay alone because it's typically seven, seven days, you know, to ship. And I very rarely get eBay orders. On the way there, consecutively, I got three eBay orders. So let me share with those with you first and then we'll go through the haul. So like I said, it was just really crazy of the sales that I got on eBay, but I, we were driving down, my husband was driving and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, I have orders. So the first one to sell, and I even forgot I had these and I'll put a picture up here, but it was the cut off denim shorts, the lucky brand, it was called Buck Row Beach and it was a size 25. So someone came in and bought them at my full price of $25. So I thought that was amazing. And my total earnings on that was $21.76. And I was like, that's really cool. And then soon after I got another offer on this Vans off the wall tropical hat is how I had it listed. Again, I've had it listed forever. Both of those probably been as long as I've reselled for the past year. And um, that it, it sold for $12 and which is I'm totally fine with why is it not showing me what I made on that? I think it was like $9 or something like that. $9 and 45 cents. I'm reading this without my glasses. That's surprising. Um, and then the next thing that sold again, something I've had forever were these top shop checkered high waisted Capri women's size six. And those, those are the last ones that sold on that. I thought that was just so great. Um, and even though they sold for sixteen dollars, I was I took an offer. I was like, absolutely, we are selling these things. I made twelve dollars and fifty six cents. So, all in all, that's great. Um, anyway, let's get on with this haul. I will share with you. Actually, I have an eBay waiting for payment on 
on, I believe, Invol Involve 69. I showed y'all a cottage core dress. It was like 1940s, 1950s. Oh, so cool. Just a really cool find. I, was, I found it at the bins. Most of what I find is at the bins. But I educated myself at the Goodwill and I had a blast. I was not expecting to spend three hours there and you're like, what are you doing spending three hours at a Goodwill on your vacation? Um, well, number one, my son and my husband were taking a break. They had been doing tournaments or my son had been doing tournaments all morning. We were there and it was lunchtime and they were taking a break. So I was like, see ya, <laughs> I'm going. And that my plan was, I wasn't planning on buying things. That's one thing I wasn't going to be thinking, oh, I'm going to, um, buy a bunch of stuff. I wanted first off to check out another Goodwill because like I said ours is crazy high here in Virginia and then the other thing is I wanted just to take some time and familiarize myself with brands that maybe I don't see see what another demographic area brings into within their Goodwill it was really big I I wish I would have taken some video but I was just so focused and on a mission but I will share what Goodwill I went to and so share their stock photos that they have to kind of give you a inside view of what it was like there. I highly recommend if you're in the area to go to this one. I wanted to go to some other ones, but obviously I just didn't have time to do all the things. So let's get on with this haul. I'm really excited. I'm going to show you, hmm, I listed everything so far, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I only got um, eight items. Oh, actually nine. <laughs> I bought this cup, so that I'm drinking my tea out of right now. Um, and yeah, so I didn't have a mug. Usually when we get on vacation, we have a kitchen because I love to cook and I don't like to eat out. Uh, so I just got myself a milk. So I, I mean, I, I just got myself a cup so I can make my latte in the morning because I did bring my French press and my little two um, electric stove eye plug in. Really nice to have if you like to kind of do your own stuff. So let me put this down. I've got one thing over there I need to bring back. Okay. So this is a piece I found. I wish I could remember what I didn't order, but this is kind of one of the last pieces I found. And this is Draper Jane's it's like a sweatshirt. It is called, I believe it's called the Natalie shirt. Now this isn't going to go for much. I believe I did list it for, I want to say I listed it for 32 because there's one listed medium. This is a size medium. There's one listed for um, 35. So I brought mine in. It is like new condition. It doesn't even feel like it has any wash wear to it. So 100% cotton. So I got this piece again, 489. So we'll see how that goes. This is a Bowden 100% silk skirt. <sighs> So this is so cute. I love like the fan. It's like a fan pleating on the front and the back. It's side zipper, really cute mini with pockets, 100% silk. I just, I couldn't pass this up. Bowden usually does really well. So I was like, I will take the 489 and invest it. And I'm, I put on the screen what I had this listed for. Cause I can't remember, even though I just did all these. All right. Typically, I would not pick up Zara at a Goodwill because it goes back and forth. There are pieces that will sell and there are pieces that won't. I think this will. It is new without tags. It does have this tag string on it. And Zara Women, Women is a higher brand, a higher up in the Zara world. <laughs> um, but how cute. It has this ruching and this almost makes it look asymmetrical part in front this piece this paneling in front and it is raw hem so just a really cute i did find stock photos for this um and the ruching goes to the side really cute this is lenin viscose blend and it is lined no pockets but that's when a crossbody bag comes in handy again i wouldn't typically at a goodwill not pick up um at the bins all day long, absolutely, as long as it's substantial like this. But I decided to take a chance on this piece because it is very boho. And there we go. I lost my light. And um, it's got, it's, it's semi-sheer, which that is something people do look for that light. But even in fall, because you wear some jeggings, a jean jacket and some, and some boots, even 
even before it gets too cold in the fall um you could just wear some high boots and a jean jacket and this would be adorable it's got the lace paneling in the back and this really cool triangular keyhole closure in the front yeah and i love the pattern boho i believe i put bohemian i might have put aztec hippie um baby doll even though it's not the high waist baby doll but it just kind of has that baby doll kind of look in the dress um again I think I listed this for, I already have a liker on it. An offer's already been sent out on this one. And I believe I listed it for 28. So just to be able to, cause you gotta think 20% Poshmark takes and then another, um, you know, 10% that the offer gets sent out. I'm saving the best two for last, just so you know, I'm so excited. All right, so again, I, I mean, I just sold a pair of Lucky Brand shorts that just kind of blew me away. But anyway, here is a Lucky Brand top and the reason why i got this one it is more substantial than a lot of other the other lucky brand it's more like a tunic like a tunic top and it has embroidery on the sleeves here with the wider flared sleeve at the end kind of the witchy vibes and it's just very didn't i list this one oh, i might not have listed this one yet i thought i listed all of them I have to double check. Anyway, I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen if I did list it and what I listed it for. So this is a small. That um G was a large, and I might not have gotten it if it was a small. This is a generous small for Lucky Brand. So again, semi sheer. You want to make sure you put that in the listing too, if it because then they the buyer needs to know if they need to wear something underneath of it, or some might not care, but. I love this jacket. This is an almost vintage, not quite vintage, Gap corduroy sh Sherpa lined in amazing condition. I mean, this is, there is the Sherpa inside. Everything is like in amazing condition. There is no marks on this. Um, I mean, I, I just, I can't believe it. It is a 2007. So I put Y2K, these are called trucker jackets. So I did that as a keyword as well. Um, what else did I put on there? Let me get that. So guys, I listed this for 60. There was one that sold for 58 on Poshmark. So I aimed high. I might not get that, um, or I might, but I put it up high because I was unsure. Um, but because it's in such great condition and it does have the quilted lining in the arms. Yeah. Just because it's in amazing condition. Like there is no, no marks, nothing on it. So I found, this was actually one of the last pieces I found was a Joey. I think that's how you say it. I have a jacket, a plaid jacket listed new with tags. There it is. <laughs> and there's the tag there. It is a small. This is 100% silk. And this piece retails for 198. So it has, yeah, it's got the keyhole closure with the clasp in the back. It's got a elastic waistband, again, semi sheer. Um, I listed this, I believe for 58. So yeah, beautiful top. Again, still wearable in the fall. Um, dressing it up or making it more casual with a jean jacket. Anyway, really cute. And I was so happy to find this. So I was like, yes, even if it sells for 30 and me spending that 4.98 now 4.89. Now I have to find my receipt, but with everything, it was $40. So some of these were marked down, whatever tag, their uh, color, and I don't know what that was. I was just so excited to, that it was only $4.89 and not even thinking about the color. Yeah, and that includes my mug too. So some things are not, I'll just have to do, I'll just have to do my math and I'll put it on the screen and just divide the eight pieces by, I think my mug was a dollar or might have been 99 cents or something like that so i'll put it on the screen what my cost of goods were per item okay this is gorgeous and this is like one of the first pieces i found and was thrilled this is 100 percent wool 
mini. It actually comes right to the knee. Um, it is a very soft wool with a really pretty leaf pattern on it. Yeah, I think it's so pretty. And this is Vintage Couture. It is called Les... I don't know if the J is pronounced as the J. And that is the tag. And, well, I say 100% wool. It's 99% wool, and the other is... I want to say nylon and then the um, liner is acetate so yes and this is a size 12 great size um, there is no size tag in it I had to do measurements and I gave both measurements and what that would equal in a number size but yeah so here's what I did and I think is so valuable in reselling is I really took the time to stand and look up things and check comps and you know when I'm in the bins um, I tend to you know really go on style and go yeah I could definitely probably make 20 off of this and just go with it but this I was very intentional and took that time to go through each thing that I was that I found style based I thought this is really cute let me check it out and that's not gonna do well especially if I'm spending $4.89 versus a dollar twenty like my normal Ben's haul is per item so I just I highly recommend that and sourcing and if you are especially if you're new to resell reselling like me and really educating yourself on watching lots of videos and listening to other resellers and what they're finding what's selling for them it doesn't mean it's going to sell for you but it is a really great you know opportunity to be able to take in as much information as you can so when you walk into the store even though sometimes it's overwhelming you will have some of those brands just come and pop up and you'll, re you'll recall those when you see a label or you see something that you've been told to look for or whatever but if you got have kids just set aside some time with the babysitter or you know just go take about two to three hours when you can schedule it and just go through and even if you're not buying anything you're just educating yourself on as you're going through and finding those items that you could resell for a profit and a good margin of a profit and I'm hoping I'll do these even with that I'll have to um, you know write my cost of goods in typically so typically after I've done like what I've already done I've already listed these these would go into my inventory system that I've showed in previous videos but because I wanted to share the haul with you guys um, you know I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna go back to my listings and apply a inventory number to each one of these and put them in my inventory system but before I say goodbye I want to share with you two things that sold on my way back from vacation so exciting and they're the two things from the haul I'm gonna share with y'all in the next video just Oh, the first item, I'm not going to show you this one yet, but I'm going to put one on the screen, was, so I literally, actually there's three things that sold. There's three things, and possibly four, because I'm waiting on a payment from, from um, eBay. Let me straighten y'all out here. And so the first one that came through be, is actually the night before we left. I just finished listing a, about half of what I have back here on this rack. I wanted to get as much up as possible because I knew I was going to do a haul for y'all and I wanted it ready and available. Um, this Peter Milan embroidered Air Force. So it's got this globe and an eagle with 1924. And upon research and asking people on Facebook, they're like, that is when they kind of mapped out the globe and... In, you know 1924 and they were awarded you know the air this part of the air force i was like cool so i put that in the listing i had it listed for 30. the material was polyester and spandex which when i picked up and felt it i was like peter milan awesome it's got it's got embroidery emblem on it it's going in my cart my cost of goods was a dollar 21 that day for all those items that i haven't shared with you yet and on top of that so i got an offer for 20. And I was like, absolutely, let's go with it. So I made 16 on that. I was, I was fine with that. My total cost, oh, I, oh, I have it right here. Again, I'll share this with you. Something about me and $40 or 41, it was 41, no, sorry, just kidding. 
yeah, it was $41.47. That includes tax. So my cost per good, yeah, was $1.21. I don't know if I did that on the tax or not. But anyway, then on the way back home, I got a, or is the night before, actually it was the night before we left, I got an offer. See, this is what I would have normally showed y'all, but I have to pack it. Um, this is what I would have shared with the haul. This was at the bottom of the bends. Look at this. This embroidery on this alpaca scarf. This thing is so long. If I put it across my neck, it goes all the way to my ankles. So it is oversized. She's going to be thrilled. I would be thrilled if I, because I even contemplated keeping it. So I listed this for 43. I was kind of shooting in the dark because there was comps all over the place for alpaca. If this was baby alpaca, it would have been a lot more, but it just says alpaca on it. How pretty is that? I think that's so pretty. Very boho and oh, there's so many things. Anyway, so I had it listed for 43. I got an offer for 36 and I'm like, yes, absolutely. So this is getting packed up to go. Let me grab the sweater. The sweater that sold, I had this listed. Okay, I sold it for 18, but I had it listed for 28. It's not a bolo um, by any means. Oh, speck of something. Um, but I got it on style. The fabric is actually halfway decent. It feels like a stretch jersey knit, but I got it on style because of all the little flowers on there. The patchwork. Patchwork is big. Adding patchwork. If you got anything patches on an item, putting patchwork in the keywords is huge. So I made $14.40 on this and I was fine with that because this is an item that could stick around in my closet for a long period of time. It's not highly sought after. The style is cute. The size is great. I believe it's a 3X, 2X, 3X. Um, yeah, 3X. So So yeah, I made the call and, and plus it's slow. It is really still slow for me. I'm typically making several sales a day and it's kind of, they're kind of trickling in. I think it's going to pick up. I hope it's going to pick up. Um, but with that being said, I, I just really enjoyed the, my vacation number one. And I enjoyed just walking through the store and being able to concentrate and educate myself and fine. I really feel like I found some good pieces. I know the MG and the Lucky brand isn't going to go for much, but I will make my money back with and some extra on those. Um, and they're, you know, style-based. I think they're great pieces. I might steal the MG one, maybe. I might, I might steal that one. We'll see. It's listed right now. If it sells, it sells. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I've got to get busy this week. Um, for those that don't know, I do make soap and skincare and I have lots of soap to pour. I got two of my grandkids coming to stay with me for about three days this week. So I got to get a lot of things done. The rest of the stuff listed, I will be putting out another haul video for you guys and, and let you know anything else that's sold. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking time and watching this video and leaving me just sweet comments, encouraging words. And those that don't have, aren't able to comment on the videos, um, reaching out to me on my Instagram and my Facebook. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And I'm almost to a thousand subs, which is really cool. Um, if you're interested in seeing any of the soap making or my farm life here on our homestead, we have a farm channel, which is Steadfast Trail Farm. I always leave that below, including my website um, that, that where I sell all my skincare. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate it, guys. I hope you have a great day, evening, morning, whichever you're in right now as you're watching. Be blessed. And until next time, bye. Life.